So I'm usually more of a long-term investor, but today I wanted to switch up the video content and give you some low cap gems for short-term trades. So as this title suggests, this is for short-term only. I would not suggest holding these projects for more than a couple of months, in my opinion. Um, these are trades that I think right now is a pretty good entry and you can probably double or triple your money. Of course, not financial advice. This is definitely gonna be riskier than a lot of my other videos. Most of the videos I make are for long-term investments, but these are for short-term trades only. What inspired me to make this video was we saw a lot of these low cap gems today on Coinbase actually take off. Uh, these were some of the low cap gems I actually held. So math, um, I held this when it was at 20 cents, when it was only at a $20 million market cap, and now it's at basically 50 cents. So I basically did the 2.5x on my money. I got out of this project because I already made some money and I wanted to put those funds and allocate those funds into other projects. But as you can see, this just shows the potential to swing trade these low cap projects. Another project that went up a lot today was Suku. This is also on Coinbase. I actually got into this project around mid-March, uh, around this $0.10, cent, $0.11 cent area. And today, as you can see, it went all the way up to actually $0.30. Cents. It's now consolidated in that uh, $0.26 cent range. Um, I think Crypto John made a video on it. That's probably why it went up a lot. But today's not about those two projects. Today is about the three projects that I think have potential to do a two to three X within the coming weeks to maybe one or two months. Um, and like I said, these are short term trades in my opinion. Um, I think the first project is going to be, uh, I don't know how you pronounce it, Parse IQ, right? It's called, it's PRQ, that's the ticker symbol. Um, basically, the past couple of months, it's been on this staircase, right? all the way from about four cents. It's been staircasing up all the way to 21 cents now. Uh, and this project, I think, has a parabolic breakout coming for it. Um, I think it has a lot of potential. Of course, the project itself um, is pretty good. It has a pretty good use case. You know, It allows uh, people to build their own decentralized applications. I'm not gonna get too much into it because with these low market cap projects, it's definitely a lot higher risk. So I like to swing trade these projects typically. Um, but as you can see, the market cap of this coin is relatively low at only 40 million. Uh, the volume is at 2 million, which is not too bad considering the low market cap. And you can see uh, the past couple of days, it's been kind of consolidating. It's really been consolidating a lot. And that's why I think right now is actually a pretty good entry because as you can, as you can see the low, we never really hit like a, like too low of a low in the past month. Uh, we've only been consolidating in that 15 cent range to that maybe like 22, 23 cent range. So right now in 19 cents sitting at the middle, I think it's a pretty good time to get in. Um, I think the upside to this coin, it can definitely hit about this zone. So 29 cents, that would be, um, you know, maybe around a 2X. It could probably even hit this 80 cent range if we get lucky. So maybe like a four to five X uh, is what I'm targeting for this coin. I'll probably take my initial out at two X and then let the rest ride. Hopefully it can probably hit that 70, 80 cent range um, maybe in the summer, but that's what I'm hoping for a short one to two month, maybe three month swing trade. Um, hopefully you get like at least a two X, three X, four X out of it. The next coin I want to look at is called uh, Sp Barax, I think that's how you pronounce it. These coins have really weird names. Um, SPA, I believe, is the ticker symbol. And I think the breakout is definitely coming for this coin as well. I think we're going to see a rally in price very soon. Um, as you can see from the chart of this coin, let's take a look. Um, sitting at about two cents right now. I actually just got into this coin today. Um, it kind of got on my radar because of not only this low market cap, but also this volume. Guys, look at this volume. Four million in volume. Uh, the volume's going up. That's definitely a good sign. We can definitely see a breakout coming very soon. Um, as you can see, the past seven days, it's uh, done pretty well. Past month, been consolidating. It had this fake breakout um, to about mm, two cents. Uh, two and a half cents ish uh, just a couple of days ago actually uh, and now it's been consolidating back in that two cent range uh, and as you can see this coin uh, the all-time chart of this coin I think it could definitely reach uh, this zone so this five cent zone six cent zone that would be about a 3x from today's price I think it can definitely reach that um, in the next two to three months like I said before maybe even sooner uh, and 
could it reach all-time highs? Possibly. Uh, it could reach, you know, if it reaches 20 cents, it would be a 10x from today's price. Uh, I think with a $30 million market cap, it's definitely possible. Um, but I would more conservatively target a 2 to 3x on this project. Uh, and looking at what this project actually is, uh, it's actually... DeFi related, so uh, that actually makes it very uh, a lot more bullish in my opinion. Uh, it focuses on building DeFi products with access uh, across layer one and layer two blockchains, um, and yeah, I mean this project. Let's see, yeah, thirty-three million dollar market cap, fully diluted. Actually, twenty-four hour real volume of six million, so it's actually even more bullish. Um, that's actually pretty good volume for a very low market cap coin like this. Um, as you can see, all time high twenty-three cents. I actually think this project can do pretty well. Um, I think it can probably hit around that 10 cent range, perhaps even in the short to medium term. So that would be about, you know, like a five to 10 X from today's price. Um, yeah, I think this project is pretty good. I wouldn't recommend, you know, going all in on these projects. Of course, there's definitely risk involved because you're swing trading. You're not really trading based on the fundamentals of the project. You're trading based on technical analysis purely. I could honestly care less about what these projects actually are. I mean, it's good that this project is in the DeFi space. It's good that this project, you know, is helping to build decentralized applications. But um, at the end of the day, you know, I just want a 2 to 3x, 5x even, 10x maybe. Uh, and I'll be very happy with those numbers. So, um, yeah, I think right now is a pretty good entry for both of these. And the last project right now is going to be the lowest market cap coin. This is only sitting at a $10 million market cap. It's called Pluton. Um, I think right now you're seeing a bullish flag start to emerge. So I think it's a pretty good uh, place to potential, potentially enter. And sitting at $5.73, this project, of course, look at this volume. It's going up. Uh, we could see a bullish uh, flag pattern happen and the supply of this project is really low guys. It's really low look in t a total supply of only 20 million, right? But look at this circulating supply. We're only at 1.8 million Pluton tokens. That is very very low. That's one of the lowest um, kind of token projects I've ever seen uh, in supply and you can see right now the graph, you know, the one month graph the lowest point we've ever touched is $5 and 35 cents if you go to the yearly the lowest points we've ever touched is four dollars and 36 cents the downside is very little guys <laughs> this project like there's almost no downside look at the all-time chart what is the all-time low well of course all-time low was pretty low but we're not going to go to those lows we're probably going to hit this low at the very worst and that's four dollars and 44 cents that's what like a 10 like a 20 percent drop from today's price that's the all-time low for the past year now the upside potential even if we go back to these highs to this high, nineteen dollars, you know that's that's a four x from today's price. We go to this high, um, that's like ten dollars, right? So two x to four x is what I'm targeting for this coin. It's only sitting at a ten million dollar market cap. That is insane, right? If it gets to what thirty million, forty million dollar market cap, that's already a t uh, three to four x. I think with the volume going up, with the low supply, with um, you haven't really seen a parabolic breakout yet, right? You haven't seen these giant wicks yet. Uh, no one's really talking about this project. Um, once someone does eventually pump it, you know, I'm not going to pump it because my channel is obviously very small. But if you have these influencers start talking about it, you could see this project going to $10, $20 even um, with this low supply and this low market cap. That's just my opinion. I think it's a pretty good swing trade at these prices. Oh, and I forgot to mention what the project actually is. Uh, it's basically a, what do they call it? They call it a, the world's first decentralized loyalty reward token to enter the market. Um, okay, so basically you get, yeah, you get crypto rewards on every purchase. Okay, uh, that's that's kind of cool, I guess. I don't really care about it that much. Um, but, but what I do care about is this low market cap, this rising volume, and low circulating supply, or low supply in general. Um, so yeah, that's I actually entered this project today too. So at around that like five dollar seventy range, uh, just for your information. Yeah, I think all three of these projects that I talked about today, Pluton, Sparax, and uh, PRQ, I think all three of these projects could do minimum, uh, could double in price minimum, right, in the next two to three months. Probably even sooner, honestly. I'd say next one to two months. Um, so if you're looking for like a quick, you know, Dublin prize, some lunch money, I think these could be some pretty good projects. Like I said before, high risk, 
high-ish reward, right? Two to three X is nothing to joke about. You know, uh, you put in a couple hundred dollars, you know, get a couple hundred dollars, a thousand dollars back, right? And then put that money and reinvest that money into some better quality projects. Uh, that's just my opinion. And yeah, these are some low market cap gems. Like I said, I can easily see both of these projects doing something like Math did, right? Math going from 20 million market cap to 58 million, uh, doing something like Suku. So going from like, I think Suku was at maybe 15 million, 14 million, all the way to like 46 million. I think that the projects that I picked out today could definitely do something similar to those two projects. That's going to be it for the video today, guys. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe. Let me know if you like to see more uh, videos like this, you know, more short term trade uh, projects, more low cap gems, because I typically like to cover projects that have a more longer term investment outlook on them, right? Projects like Aerodrome, like Caspa, like uh, Arc Block, you know, those are my long term bullish projects. But let me know if you want to uh, want some more videos on these short term projects, because I definitely have a lot more of these short term projects uh, that I'm watching uh, that I'm currently considering, you know, picking up for a swing trade. So let me know if you would like to see more videos like this and I will see you guys in the next one.